Hello everyone, this is Anil Khwajam, Register Migration Agent and Co-Founder, Think High Consultants and PDClasses.com. Now this video is in the series of the civil construction design videos we made earlier. Still lots of people have confusions whether if they have done an advanced diploma of civil construction design, still they need to do a diploma. If they have done an advanced diploma in fast track and they have a civil construction or civil engineering background, still they need to do a diploma these all questions arises and there are lots of confusions and concern in the market so let's discuss this about and get things clear for those who are prospective civil engineering draft person wanted to apply for permanent residency in australia so the number one scenario if you have done an advanced diploma of civil construction design for two years whether you require a civil engineering draft person diploma or not as per the current guidelines of engineering australia if you have done an advanced diploma no matter it's a fast track or a two years course you still require a diploma of civil construction design you can still do this diploma after finishing your advanced diploma or if you allow based on your visas to do a concurrent course then you can start it now and finish the diploma along with doing the advanced diploma second scenario is if you have done an advanced diploma of civil construction design and you have a background of bachelor's of civil engineering do you still require a diploma in this scenario the engineer australia has given a complete clear guidelines that if you have a background of civil engineering then an advanced diploma of two years with maximum units you have already taken will give you an advantage to get a positive skill assessment as a civil engineering draft person so you don't need a diploma for that now in the third scenario uh, lots of people are asking me that if we do a diploma of civil construction design and we already have a bachelor of civil engineering whether we would able to get a positive skill assessment or not so based on the engineering guidelines you need to have an advanced diploma minimum in in order to get the positive skill assessment whereas you have a higher study of bachelors of engineering but you need to see the units what units you have done it whether they are matching with the unit criteria of engineering australia assessment or not now there is a gray line between um, whether you get a positive skill assessment based on the third scenario so each case officer will assess the application based on the profile or the cdrs you have submitted now here lots of application these days are getting requests that you need to rewrite the cdrs just because the technique technical part to become a civil engineering draft person is not there. So you need to be very careful when writing the CDRs that all the technical aspects has been covered. I would suggest that if you have a diploma and advanced diploma in civil construction design, then you should write two CDRs for diploma with the core units which Engine Australia has already provided and one CDR based on the advanced diploma. That will help you out getting a positive skill assessment. Now if you have any questions regarding this topic feel free to put uh, in the comments i also be requesting if you need more topics to be discussed feel free to put them in the comments box and i'm happy to do more videos apart from this civil construction design videos as well hope that helps thank you